Hi, elections. Why are they on a Thursday? It's such a random day of the week to have them. Also, I thought until I started doing a bit of research. So, Thursdays, there's quite a few theories around this, um, but they kind of made make sense if you combine um, the lot of them. So, traditionally, it was seen that a Friday um, tended to be when um, you would get your pay packet. And so it was believed, or the theory goes, that when you got your pay packet, you would then go down the pub. Um, and there was a fear around um, conservative um, pub landlords being able to influence a, uh, a, a polling day as such. So people would go down the pub, get a bit trolleyed, be speaking to naughty conservatives who own the pub and then would go and vote conservative um, or vote under the influence of alcohol. So Fridays and then the weekend generally um, were to be avoided. That also begs the question of when else is the best day of the week. Another theory is that you they wanted it to be as far away from your Sunday sermon as possible. So Thursdays were the furthest away that didn't then inter interfere with the uh, um, being paid, going down the pub and being influenced by Tories. Um, so instead of being influenced by your pastor in the on the Sunday morning to then go and vote in the Sunday afternoon for whatever... Um, uh, your 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 faith would try and influence you. Um, Thursday was probably the the best day to be furthest away from those two influences. Also, it's believed that Thursday tended to be market day, and so people who lived in rural areas were more likely to be in the town um, due to it being market day, so were more likely to go out and vote. So those are the three main theories that I saw. I thought was quite interesting and kind of makes sense. So now. Um, it seemed like quite a strange day to go out campaigning and uh, and for an election. Um, but the more you do dig in, um, it's, it seems quite interesting. Also, I picked up that before 1918, um, elections were held over a four week period. Um, and that was agreed under the Agreement of the People Act in um, 1647. So it would be held on the... Um, on the first Thursday in March and then for a four week period you could go out and vote. This was then reduced um, to the one day vote um, and then that was on the on the first uh, the th Thursday. Um, it was then with the Fixed Term Parliaments Act in 2011 it was then restricted to it being the first Thursday um, generally um, in May. So under usual circumstances, your election will be the first Thursday of May. Um, local elections tend to also follow those, but they will be in different times. So in Ipswich, we have elections in thirds. So we have an election every year, but the election will always be on the first Thursday in May. Um, so, so that's a quick video of the theories behind why a Thursday. And for if anyone was interested in why we have... Um, our elections on that day of the week and also it's then easy to to know when the next election is going to be um, also because the fixed term parliaments act um, we're now going to lose six months in the uh, parliamentary five years slot because of the election that we had in December um, so it will be four and a half well we're just over four and a half years instead of the five years fixed term parliaments act um, and in order to hold that election that is why um, it needed to be brought to parliament um, because of that particular act that was passed in 2011 so that's a bit of information of why elections are held on a thursday um, as ever thank you for watching hit the subscribe button um, and uh, help a girl out okay Night.